Hi everybody, this is Matt. Welcome to Star Lighting Projects. Today I'm featuring a video about a lighting project that I've been working on for the last couple of years. You guessed it, it's the Leif Erikson and the UFO Mystery Ship from AMT Round 2. During this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show some of the circuitry and uh, circuit boards uh, for the different lighting effects that I put into the ship. I knew that I was going to build a fairly involved model. There was going to be at least four circuit boards involved in it and a lot of wiring. So what I did was I created an enclosure from scratch that used some wood molding and a base wood uh, top. I put hinges on it. I uh, also put a support into it so I could work on it while I was uh, doing the build and testing the various electronics packages. I painted the whole thing black and then I sputtered silver paint onto the top of it basically to simulate a star field. I also put a, uh, a mount on it for the ship. Uh, it was creative use of uh, actually uh, sh shower heads. They, I wanted uh, the uh, ship to be mounted on something that would pivot, so I, I bought a couple of uh, shower heads and I, I, I cut them apart and basically used the, uh, the pivoting parts of them attached together with a brass rod or a brass tube so that I could run the wires from the electronics package up into the ship. So here's some photographs and some uh, footage of what that looks like. Okay, everybody's at home now. Um, just all the circuits have been installed, everybody's working. Just a quick one. I decided I wanted to do something to internally light the whole thing. Um, I basically built a, a white and a green oscillator circuit that alternates between the two of those and it has a, a variety of different controls that uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and demonstrate for you uh, right now. Okay, the second effect that I built into the model was a uh, red-green-blue oscillator. Actually, I put two of them in, one in the uh, bridge and one in the nose cone of the ship. Basically, they can operate independently, and each one of those has an on and off switch. Again, and it also has a potentiometer to control the rate of oscillation. So basically, all it's doing is going red-green-blue, red-green-blue, red-green-blue. If I run it at very slow speed, you can see each of the individual colors separately and then as I get faster and faster as I increase the speed with the uh, potentiometer basically I can blend those three colors together to the point in time where they're almost white. I can have the nose cone traveling at different speeds so I can simulate a phaser firing or a photon torpedo launch. All right, in this section of the video, we're going to be talking about the, the shuttle deck. In the model kit, they included the, uh, a scout ship called the Vega, which is a, a kind of an interesting-looking little ship. Basically, it had three landing legs. A lot of people don't care for those landing legs. I thought they were okay. They looked to me like the, uh, the place where the thrust would be coming from the ship, and I decided to go ahead and light them up. What I did was I used uh, three acrylic rods. I uh, drilled holes into the landing legs. Uh, vertically and then I put three rods into there. I built an acrylic uh, base, a uh, flat base to plug those into so now it, it basically acts as a stand. Directly underneath them in the shuttle uh, bay itself I drilled three holes and I placed three LEDs into those holes. I painted them black except for the uh, very center of them where the LED element sits in the uh, inside the LED uh, casing. Uh, it points directly up into the acrylic rods and basically gives a, a lighting effect that I can control with, uh, by turning it on and off. And then I also have a speed control. And that's what this looks like. The next effect that I put throughout the ship, basically I, I put red LEDs in there to simulate a catastrophic failure of the ship. It's a pretty pretty interesting effect where the uh, red LEDs are basically flashing at random. I can turn them on and off with the uh, power switch for them. I also have a uh, potentiometer that controls the speed of them. Uh, 
The next effect to talk about would be the engine effect. Uh, on the on the uh, UFO mystery ship, I simply have a fading circuit, basically, uh, that turns the LEDs on and off, and it sort of it ramps the current to them so that they fade on and fade off, they change intensities, and I can control the speed of that. So I appreciate you watching my video. There was a lot of ground to cover. There are many other things I could have talked about about these models, but I wanted to give you a, a, a kind of an overview of what, uh, what the whole project was about. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.